That is not budget. Now, if you watched yesterday's video, we did an install and I shared with you how to protect your edges from wig adhesive glue. If you have not seen that video, I highly recommend you go check it out before you decide to jump into the sweat proof glue. Sweat proof glues are a little bit stronger and they can cause hair loss if you do not apply it correctly. My method that I use when I glue down my wigs with these type of glues has saved my edges. Be sure to check out that video. And if you want a glueless way to wear your wig sweat proof, check out this video. We'll give you lots and lots of tips on how to wear a glueless install while going to the gym. We, yesterday I showed you guys how to save your edges. Today I'm showing you if this glue holds up and how to maintain it. And the rest of the week we're gonna do removal, update, all that stuff. So be sure that your notifications are turned on. So let's jump right in and I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna show you guys what the after effect is with using the glue. Check out yesterday's video before you watch this video. Come back to the video, watch it from beginning to end y'all. It's very important. And leave any questions you have below. Let's jump right in. Ready to go to the gym and work out. We are in day two of this wig install. So what I like to do, regardless of what type of wig adhesive I'm wearing, I'm going to tie down my hairline because one, sweat, I don't like it in my eyes, and two, I want to make sure that my hairline stays flat. Every glue that I have tried, trust me, if you don't tie it down, the moisture definitely helps it lift. I don't care if it's sweat proof or not. Um, so with this method that I did yesterday and yesterday's video, uh, I definitely want y'all to see how it holds up throughout this week. So make sure that you are checking out the previous video if you have not already. So I'm just going to take this and place it, push the hairline back, and I'm going to just tie it down just like this, not too tight. And this is the soft edge band. I really like it. It's so comfortable. Yeah, we're gonna go work out and I'm gonna show you guys how it turns out. workout I usually tie it down for at least 10 minutes before I release it well 10 20 to 30 minutes it just depends on how long it takes the hairline to dry I'm a person that sweats from my head so a lot of times if I'm sweating it's coming from my head so that means a lot of wig adhesives do not hold for me even if they claim to be waterproof they will either turn white or they will just come up so this edge band is definitely important and it's very stylish, as you can see. It looks really, really cute around the head. It gives me that 90s vibe a little bit. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is just release it and see if this wig adhesive, um, I use the HD active glue. But let's remove the edge band. That is not budging. Like it, like I don't want to snatch too hard because I did this before in the video and my hairline was so sore. So if you believe, you believe. If you don't, you don't. But yeah, it's stuck. 
like it really is it's stuck on on the sides also so this glue is good like it's good for sweating sticky like there's some areas that did turn whitish up here not white but like you know how you pull glue and it have that residue that's what's going on here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the dryer to this area because it's like like really wet up in here We know we don't do anything when it comes to the back when it's when it's a 13 by 6 caps. You can actually take this dryer and just set it under here and let it dry your hair. Um, also, if you've seen yesterday's video, you know I did the method with the edge protector. You got to go check out the video. Important that you go check it out because I showed how to protect your edges when using these wig glues. The material that I used is still there. Like I, it's not sliding back. It's still. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's still, I'm still there. <laughs> Use cool air, it feels so good. Like, it feels amazing. So can we talk about how the curls are still here? Now at night, I normally take a clip like this and put the hair up. And if I'm working out with my wig um, and it's glued down, I'll do the same exact thing. So since yesterday, these curls are still here, just living life. <laughs> So I am going to switch up my parting today because the way the glue is, has this hairline, I feel like it's throwing me off a bit. It's making my head look a bit square. So I don't know if I want to just switch size maybe. No, I'll just switch to parting. But this glue is still holding. This is the HD Active glue. The only thing I don't like about it is how sticky it is. And I also don't like the residue that pulls up when you tie down your hairline and you need to tie down your hairline. Well, I don't feel like there's an actual timing for this glue to cure. I think it never cures, that's the problem. You, like when I sweat, it became sticky again. If you are subscribed later this week, you will see the removal. I'm gonna show you all how the removal is um, and everything and what my hairline looks like. So make sure you guys have your notifications turned on. This wig is from Ronnie Hair. It will be linked below in the description box. Like the color is so pretty. It's a beautiful chocolate brown. And my parting looks a bit off. So I just wanted to show you all what this wig look like now. This is what everything is looking like so far. This has been 24 hours of me wearing the glue. And as you can see, the hairline still looks really good. Like the curls on the hair is still there. Um, so yeah, I like, I may by tomorrow need to refresh the curls again, but so far so good. This piece is a little, yeah, just like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, drop me some comments. Let me know what you all think about the install. Again, this wig comes from Ronnie Hair. It will be in the description box of the video. Thumbs up the video, you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. And also, thank you so much for continuing to watch. Thank you for sticking with me. If you made it this far into the video, it means so very much. I appreciate you so very much. And I will see you all back in my next video.